So in today's episode of Boring Gardening, we are going to talk about some bamboo and we're going to talk about the science behind rhizomes. No, we're not. We don't do boring gardening here. Let's take a look. I got something crazy to show you guys. What do we got here? Holy crap. Looks like giant claws coming out of the earth. Dang. Let's take a look. Does this light make my complexion look good? What do you guys think these are? I'm assuming you'll be able to guess. This is what the tips look like. There's three of them. They look like giant claws. Roots, 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 and more roots. And then right under the ground. Disappearing somewhere under there. These six containers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I can count. Um, have pieces of these planted in them to sprout or aka to propagate these are bamboo rhizomes if you didn't already guess coming off the mother grove which I've shown you multiple times we'll talk about that update later I just wanted to show you how big these are these oh gosh the longest one's probably three and a half feet the other two are probably three feet. They still go that way a little bit further, but I'm not gonna dig out too deep. I talked about this little surfacing rhizome in the past. That will be dug up too. Going to propagate those and sell those to some locals. Um, I will ship when they start growing. I just wanna guarantee a live plant when I ship them. Obviously, they'll be the same variety as the mother plant, incense bamboo cold hardy not important at the moment I dug up a rhizome two days ago from right here you can't really tell but I dug it from about right here and it stretched to about right there and it was only about a two foot rhizome and I got six containers from two feet of rhizome from and that's from a single rhizome so you take a look at these three they're at least three feet long man that's a lot of sections of rhizome to be propagated if you want to know what my special fertilization is for my bamboo keeping it this green and growing madly in the extreme weather conditions of northern Utah I poop under there most likely you'll just spend your whole life not knowing there's a more enjoyable way to poop. That's because our bodies were designed to poop in a squat. It's smooth, pleasant, and natural. No, of course I don't, because I'm a civilized human being. Thanks for watching. This is just a quick update on rhizome hunting. Talk to you soon.